Okay. Acura's heartbeat is stable. Looks like the worst is over. But to be completely honest, it's a miracle they made it out in the first place. Thanks to Dr. Calvert, he's a miracle worker. I can't take all the credit. Our Acura is quite special. There is still a chance of infection. Run another check, and make sure there's no sign of mutation. Brenda, we can take it from here. Go back to HQ, and let everyone know Akira is safe. But, Doctor... Brenda, please. I'll be here to make sure everything goes smoothly. And either way, I have more than enough work to keep me busy around here for quite some time. Thank you. I see. Very well. I'll see you at the station, Doctor. Our sister's gonna get a chest laser. We will become as gods, and then we will have to fight her. Board, formal agreement between parties to exist harmoniously. Yeah. Uh Brinda and the commander are both on it. Akira literally couldn't be in better hands. Brinda gives even the commander a run for his money when it comes to all that science stuff. And what happened to Akira wasn't your fault. Jenna was more powerful than anyone could have expected. Trust me, even the commander didn't see it coming. Akira did what she did because it's her duty as a neuron officer to protect you, no matter what. But duty is one thing. To go that far for you, Akira must really have wanted to keep you safe. You've both been through so much, and Akira's taken it harder than you have. But putting her brother first? I guess that's sisterly love. Huh. Having someone you do anything to protect like that must... Oh, never. That's right. We <clears throat> got a report back from the high-tech forensics department. That huge thing you fought at the mall? Apparently, it wasn't a chimera at all. They've never seen anything that wasn't a chimera spread data corruption like that. They're all completely stumped. <sighs> well, if they figure anything out, you'll know about it as soon as I do. <sighs> Beyond that, we're putting all our effort into finding out where Jenna went. She completely vanished 20 years ago, and now she's back. And with that thing in tow, not even the commander has any clue what she's after. And that's a rarity for him. <sighs> As if your hands weren't full enough with the chimeras, right? Jenna's not going to make things any easier. Brenda! Ah, uh, I'm glad I found you two. I just got back from the lab. She's going to be fine. Akira is shockingly resilient, really. Akira's still under anesthesia, but why don't you go pay a visit? The facility is usually off limits to outside personnel, but this time, I think we can make an exception. Take your time and collect yourself. Find me in the infirmary when you're ready. Brenda, thank you. Well, that's a load off my mind. I've got to get back to work. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Is she human or a chimera? Oh. Okay, how much Iris, money do I have? Iris, oh, that's not it. How is it. Where does it say how much money I have? Okay, uh... Well, we got some orders done at the very least. Siege. Okay, so I'm gonna just bang a bunch of these open.
Oh yeah, we are mostly getting colors here, but that's okay. Oh, let's see, so how much money? I've got 58,000. So after the next mission, we could buy the, uh, the Hermit Helmet. I think I'd like to, just because it would make us look extra creepy. Maybe I could buy some stuff. Or sell some stuff. Keeping up the good work, I see. Ah, there's something we need to talk about. Can you spare me an ear? Preferably two. Sure, what is it? So, uh... I have to confess. Oh, um, before that... Oh, wow! It's a perfect fit! And it really suits you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, isn't it great? It's like I'm looking at the real Lappy. Oh, um, <laughs> speaking of, uh, okay, okay, right. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Lappy. He's been me. I am Lappy. There it is. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. I know. I should have told you earlier. You know, uh, <laughs> you are handling this a lot better than I expected. I thought you were gonna freak out, uh, you know. Oh, it can't be! How could you, Marie? Oh, I never knew uh, the difference. Uh, nothing? Huh. Okay. <clears throat> well, Those before I came so to Neuron, I was a traffic officer. That's how I became Lappy. I'd put on that suit and walk around, and everyone would smile at me! Oh, best feeling ever! And everyone here always looks so tired, you know? So, well, I figured a visit from Lappy would get them smiling again. It, it, it went so well the first time, so I just kept doing it, and now look, Lappy's a part of the Neuron family. Which brings me to our problem. Last week, I put the suit on, fell flat on my face, and twisted my ankle. I know. And now Brenda says to give Lappy a rest. Huh. Ah, I wonder how Brenda figured out it was me. Uh, uh, anyway. I can't be Lappy again until my stupid leg is healed up. Meanwhile, Neuron gets gloomier and gloomier. And at this rate, the whole office will be plunged into endless darkness. We cannot let that happen. And so, in the meantime, I want you to be Lappy in my place. It is the perfect plan. Nobody knows it's me in there. Just wear it and just just talk to anyone who could use a friendly smile. I'm sure they're going to love you. Okay, don't worry. Just just think of all the good you'll be doing. Hmm. Yes, okay, I, I'm I'm getting gloomy vibes from all around the station. First of all, hmm, yes, the B2 elevators. There's gotta be people in need of a lappy-sized pick-me-up. What are you waiting for? Go turn those frowns around so there's smiles instead. You know, this is not what I meant to do. Uh. Alright, let's finish this quest. It's a shame you get this outfit post-game. Mm, Marie, what do you... Uh, I mean, hey, Lappy. <laughs> Carefree as ever, I see. 
Uh, look, I kind of want to be alone now. Uh, could you be a little less here? Huh? <laughs> you want to know what's troubling me? Well, I don't know if talking about it'll help, but sure. You know, I really love animals, especially cats. But protecting cats from redshift isn't part of the job, so I can't get clearance to do it. I gotta do something about it, but I don't want to get the sack. But then I imagine all the poor cats out there, sick and scared in some alley. It keeps me awake at night. Oh. Huh? Really? You know a place where cats can stay safe? Wow, I, I had no idea there was somewhere like that out in Mason Forest. You've got to take me sometime. Uh, if too many people go to see it, it'll attract too much attention. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But it's a load off my mind just knowing it's out there. Hey, Marie, I mean, hey, Lappy. Thanks a lot for listening. I heard everything. Oh, that's one more smile we'll see around the station today. On to the next troubled soul. They're in the infirmary on level B2. This'll be the happiest place on the Ark in no time. So there's, what, three of these that I gotta do? Uh, I just wanted to change outfits. Oh, Murray, I mean, sorry, Lappy. I'm kind of going through some stuff right now. Can you please just let me be? Uh, are you um, trying to cheer me up? I appreciate the thought. In fact, it's my partner, Avery, I'm all wound up about. Avery is really energetic, which is great, but I'm, um, well, just look at me. Not so much. I can't jump back into action right away, you know, after a mission. Hell, I get winded just standing up for a long time. To be honest, sometimes I'm not even sure why they chose me for Neuron. But Avery won't hear any of it. I, I really can't keep going on like this. I've tried to tell her, but come on, you know her. I literally can't get a word in edgewise. <sighs> There's no way I'll ever keep up with her. Please, Marie, I mean, Lappy, would you please tell Avery for me? I mean, don't tell her, tell her, but you know, indirectly. <sighs> She's probably in the break room. Thanks for doing what I can't. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that's... That's plot stuff. I don't know what would happen if I did that. Also, hello, clone of sister. Hey, Lappy! What's up? Taking a breather? Let me guess, you're here for an energy drink? Something like that? Wow, I bet it's exhausting to wear that thing all day. I... I mean, uh, your little hat. Wearing your little hat all day must be exhausting, Lappy. Uh, but forget it. You're thirsty, yeah? Well, today I recommend a nice alkali coca. One sip and you will literally burst with energy like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I've had three. Woo! Come on, try one and see. Oh, you didn't come here for a drink, did you? What's that, boy? There's a neuron officer lacking self-confidence. Says he can't keep up with me? Oh, you're talking about Mitsuru, aren't you? Yeah, he's been even gloomier than usual since we got back from Ark Mall. Of course I noticed. But, you know, bending over backwards so he can keep up won't do us any good either. 
And if anything, I've been overdoing it, hoping some of my energy would rub off. <sighs> I guess I've been pretty hard on him. Ah, sorry. Sorry to get kind of dark there. I get wound up pretty easily. I'll try to pace myself so I won't push Mitsuru too hard. A warm Akali Koko. Oh. It's an Alkali Koka. Hopefully it'll cheer Mitsuru up. That's slightly less gross. Warm soda is not very good, I think. Hi, Marie. Dang it. I mean, hi, Lappy. So, what'd she say? What's this? Alkali cocoa? Oh, so Avery was just trying to motivate me by acting so wild all the time, huh? I never noticed that she even cared. And here I am just moping around alone. That settles it. I've got to get stronger. I won't drag Avery down anymore. But first, I need to apologize to her for the misunderstanding in person. You know, I feel a little braver already. Thanks to you, Mer... Oof, Lappy! Oh, we're so close. Excellent job! Oh, Mitsuru and Avery? Now that's a twofer. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think there really is a real Lappy. Okay, there's just one more officer in need of some Lappy time. They're in the training room on level B3. Now, go spread some cheer. Please tell me I get to fight somebody as Lappy, because that'll be magic. I want... I want a Lappy battle. What's up? What's up, Jin? <sighs> what is it? Oh, oh, it's you, Marie. Uh, oh, uh, right, Lappy, yeah. I-I don't see you down here much. Look, I'm in the middle of training. Whatever it is, could you save it? Hey, uh, I, I told you I'm training. Could you please come back later? Oh, what is it? You are extra persistent today. Uh, you want to know why I'm down here training so hard? What's it to you? Look, the truth is, I need to get stronger. Akira's still unconscious after what went down at the mall. With the captain gone, that's on me. Max isn't here anymore. Well, that means while we're on the job, his kids are my responsibility. I promised him I'd take care of them. Now, I don't know if I'm strong enough to keep that promise. But now, he's gone. And I'm not any stronger. I couldn't even catch up to Jenna in the first place. Akira could. And look what I let happen. I couldn't face Max if he came back. Not like this. So, I'll do anything to get stronger. And fast. I have to keep everybody safe. I can't let him down. I know I don't have the experience or the skill that he had. I figure maybe I can make up for it with sheer effort. Oh, wait, what, what's that? What? You're saying you want to spar? <laughs> well, thanks for the laugh. I don't know, but seriously, you, you've never lifted an ex-baton in your life, right? Oh, uh, that stance. Hm. Yeah, I see. You're serious about this. Oh, okay then. But I'm warning you, I don't hold back. Not even in practice. Come on, show me what you've got. Oh! Ha! 
Holy shit, he hurts. Even with that thing on, you're pretty tough. You know, I haven't had a thrashing like that since the last time I sparred with the captain. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I do feel a little better. Well, I gotta say, this has been an eye-opening training session, Lappy. Thanks. I, I really mean it. That was hard. Hi, it's me. Sounds like Neuron HQ is officially trouble-free. Now, head on back here. Fantastic work. Oh, top-notch cheering up. Really, even I could probably learn a thing or two about being lappy from you. <laughs> probably. Thank you so much. Anything else, partner? <laughs> wow, you're really motivated. But if you get too good at my job, uh, where does that leave me? Uh, oh, <laughs> never mind. I definitely wasn't just imagining you as my bitterest, most heinous rival or anything like that. <laughs> oh, I got so wrapped up in spreading cheer that I forgot about all those case reports I need to alphabetize. Ugh. See you. Okay. The costume. We don't have any other costumes. What other jackets do we have? Nothing there. No new pouches. No new neckties. We have a lot of. Go oh my god. Yes, please. And a half. <laughs> I look super dumb now. Oh, I can't wait until we get more random junk to put on. Anyway, let's also see the bathroom fairy again. Oh no, not again. Oh, it's you again, isn't it? This special human who can hear me. This fairy knows when they're in luck. Maybe it will help me save this toilet from certain disaster. Huh? Wait a second. You got toilet paper on you, correct? Give it to me quick, otherwise this toilet may be cursed forever. Another day, another toilet. Well and truly protected. Heroes, thanks for doing your duty. It makes my heart that so many people don't believe in toilet fairies. They don't know how much we do to protect them. That's horrifying. Not again. Oh, it's you again. Special human, you can hear me. All right, uh, okay, so it's the same thing. Wait a second. Got toilet paper. So the dialogue doesn't change. Okay. So get some extra stra scrap items. Uh, let's see. I guess let's go to the training room real quick. I don't know if I have any other side quests, but I'm not going to be doing them today. But I don't mind picking this up. Now let's go sell some stuff. Oh. Oh, wait. Who's this guy? That's just Legatus menu. Should probably also recolor our Legatus before we forget. Anyways, let's sell some stuff real quick. I 
No, I pretty much don't have too much to sell. Uh, I'm just off. Cause I really want that. I really want that that hermit mask. Ugh. Well, after the next mission, for sure. Okay. So maintenance. If I do that, does it go faster? No, I think I can just hold it down. Stop moving. I wish to remove the schmutz from your arm. Okay, change legion. You guys are all schmutzy. Please stop being all schmutzy. It's a bad look. It's bad for my health, bad for my gameplay, and it makes you look all gross. Okay, he's good. I truly have no idea if this actually matters. It probably does. Because, of course, Platinum would do that. Okay. So next we want to do Legion Colors. So he's fine. I guess I'm just going to make them all purple. I mean, honestly, this is a pretty sweet color set. So I'm totally fine with every single one of them being more or less the exact same color. That is okay by me. So how do we... Do we save? Does this game just automatically save? I guess it just automatically saves. So we've also got other things. Well, if I do this... Nope. Oh, right. We save at the computer upstairs. That's what it is. It's been a little while. Let's see. So we want to go to the main floor. I forgot that bit. See, can you take a picture of the toilet fairy? Interesting question. I haven't really tried taking pictures of anything. I don't think so. You might have to do something special to get a photo of it. Uh, I'm also overcome by a, not a case of apathy so much as, oh boy, it's late. I would like to go to bed. So it looks like it just regularly saves to begin with. That's fine. Also, apparently there is no, uh, there is no captain rank in this game. That's dumb. But I'm fine with that. I guess I will just be specialist anime or something. Oh well.